guys Brian back here with a look at veracity all right uh, we've uh, we spiked up there we hit that point zero zero nine and we've gotten a little bit of a pullback here all right but what I want to show you we're holding trend just fine right you see this blue line that is our trend line okay it started here we've rode it up we're holding trend just fine all right I, uh, I believe we're about ready to have another push here and uh, we'll take a look at some price targets here and, and see what's going on here. But uh, we have had a little bit of a pullback, which is perfectly normal. Well, let's take a look and see. We nailed that 618 earlier. We go from this wave to the top. All right, you can see this pullback right at the 618 okay uh, we nailed that first pullback just perfectly this 618 here uh, is right where we should be bouncing from right 618 702 is your uh, your other one down here but we are right at the 618 on this thing okay so things are looking fine here for veracity let's go over here and take a look at the volume and the market cap uh, right now we're down 0.66 uh, percent the market cap at 76 million dollars love it every time I see that look at the volume 27.5 million volume is still pretty high I mean that's one third of the market cap so not too shabby there uh, for volume okay rank number 342 veracity I, I love the, the possibilities for this thing are are pretty uh, pretty awesome let's see uh, total supply is 100 billion all right that's about uh, in line with uh, XRP as far as uh, total supply, I'm not comparing the two tokens. I'm just comparing, uh, certainly, you know, uh, total supply. The only thing that bothers me about Veracity is that the 10.22% in circulation, all right? You got to be, uh, you know, inflation. Uh, like I said before, look at the release dates for these coins and stuff because as coins get released into circulation, it obviously affects price, all right? So, 10.22%, uh, that's the only problem I have with Veracity, all right? But if you're riding it out for a bull run or whatever, or, uh, I, I believe, uh, you know, I, be I believe in this thing long term. It's been around for a while, all right? If we get down here, it's five years, <laughs> you okay? Had an all-time high of 0 0.08, all-time low. I wish I would have got in there. Geez, I'd have, uh, you know, I would have bought millions of this token at that price. You know, at that price there, let's take a look. Real quick. All right. Let's see what one, one million tokens would have cost you. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million times point zero 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 two one seven. You could have got a million for 200 bucks, 217 dollars. Okay, and uh, that that 217 dollars, you would have gotten a uh, the 33x out of it. So 217 times 33. Whoops. 217 times 33. 7,000 dollars your 200 dollars would have turned into 7,000 as of today all right so uh, not too bad that's what I love about crypto man you can't make that kind of interest in a bank all right so the crypto bubbles these this is for the month I, I believe Bitcoin's gonna break 38,000 soon if it does man I, like I said a couple weeks ago I am not financial advice I believe right now is a great time uh, you know a couple weeks ago even when I said it first great time to be in the to uh, altcoins if you invested in any of the top 100 you know, in the last month you're in the green um, you know uh, for the last month anyway okay so some of these are up uh, pretty huge you know this thing, Caspa, I cover it, man. It's done a 17x this year, all right. So every thousand you put in that thing, you'd have 17,000 right now uh, for the year. Overall, it's done uh, an unbelievable number. I can't remember what it is, 300x or something, something ridiculous. You know? So that's what I love about crypto, man. You can uh, you can quit working, you know, you do it right, uh, you know, every penny. You know, when I first started investing in cryptocurrency, you know, every extra 
uh, 50 bucks I had or whatever, I was throwing it in crypto, man. Every time I'd get an extra 50 or $100, I'd be running to the, the dollar store, putting it on my chime card and, and buying crypto. Um, I just uh, absolutely fell in love with crypto the first time I, my, I looked into it. So here we go. Let's take a look at this chart, guys. Sorry about that. Please hit the like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. And please check out a membership. Uh, every member uh, counts, and it helps the channel tremendously. Thank you so much to all the members, and thank you to the new members. Um, you, you can get the trading videos for $14.99 to learn how to do all this stuff yourself. Seven hours worth of videos, guys, for $15. Bucks, all right? Um, that's that's $2 an hour. I, uh, I would, uh, you know, uh, at $15 that... I was getting for putting them videos out, you know, 15 bucks, all right, I, I, I put a new video out every week, there's over 17, I think there's 17 videos in there, um, you can learn all this stuff yourself, man, uh, you know, that's how I, uh, that's my that, end goal, is to quit the 40 hour a week job and, and, and enjoy the rest of my life, all right, so learn how, to, this is a, a skill that can, uh, you know that can change your life forever so let's take a look at this thing daily rsi is about reset on veracity right down at the bottom just about it's oversold uh, when that happens price is supposed to push upwards okay this is on the daily the bigger time frames are the ones that matter all right you got your 12 hour right at the bottom you got a green 12 hour candle started right on support and you got a green candle on the 12. You got the eight hour oversold, a 21 and a 20. It's bullish, heading up. Four hour, uh, 66 and a 49, heading up. All right. The big one here, the daily, it's at a 54 down here in the regular RSI. You know, lots of room uh, to, if it wants to push up here. Okay. Uh, now, price targets. If we break through the point zero zero nine, whoops. What the heck happened to my mouse here? I apologize, guys. Hold on one second here. Somehow I lost my mouse. Let's uh, try turning it on and off here. What the heck happened here? Uh oh. That's not good. Bear with me a second here. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Unbelievable. Really don't want to start this video over again. So uh, let's hope this works. There we go. Jeepers. All right. Sorry about that. I apologize. Let's uh, let's get back in here. Sorry about that. That's embarrassing. Don't know what happened there, but. Uh, my mouse froze up on me. All right, so we got this daily. If we break through up, that first target is up here at point zero zero nine two. All right, that was this high. Well, point zero yeah point zero zero nine two. Call it. All right, we break through there. That next target up here is at point zero one one. All right, now if we take a uh, go out on the weekly on this thing. This is where I can start to see some things happening here, okay? We get that off there. This looks like a five wave up. Now, what kind of price target would it give this thing if that's what's going on? I'm not using this wick, all right? I'm going to go with that high there to the retrace, all right? That's giving it a target up here roughly on this move of uh, 0 0.0129, all right? Uh, the 3618, look where that lines up, right with our 0 0.0115. All right, so I'm looking at a possible five waves here. One, two, three, four, and a fifth wave up here, okay? And then you usually get an ABC correction, which gives your RSI's time to cool off for the next push. All right, so that's what I'm looking at for veracity. All right, we have major, major support down here at uh, 0 0.0067 and uh, 0 0.007 major support areas. All right, that first area we have to break through is the 0 0.0078. 
if we go into daily here, you can see. Let me get that off. Let's first off, let's mark this. All right, see where we get. That's that target right, right there. Let's keep that there. We're gonna lock that. That's what I like to do when I do these videos. That way, we'll see what happens here. Okay. Now that, for, like I said, that first area to break is the point zero zero seven eight, roughly. That one there. And then if we take out this uh, this this one here, point zero zero nine two. All right, watch for these higher areas. Okay, I believe it's about ready to make a move. That daily, maybe tomorrow, uh, possibly, you know, in an hour, this thing should turn back up. All right, this this should this blue line should start heading up and turn bullish, and we should start getting some price action here moving up. So, veracity's looking fine. All right, thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you for all the support. Please hit the like and subscribe. Consider a membership. It really helps me out. And have a great day, everybody.